know that this is not the greatest qualifying session there's ever been. Incredible run after incredible run and uh, very uh, exciting and explosive for us, no doubt. Last race, we started out with a little welding going on. Same thing this race. Last time it was a uh, fuel tank leaking. This go round we got a cube tank doing a little leaking. Race day going out here against Justin Ashley. Let's go. Okie dokie, y'all. We are about ready to warm up. And we have a special, a special surprise guest today. <laughs> Look who showed up! up y'all! <laughs> and the kid is here! How are you? Oh, great. <laughs> hey, bud. It's my mechanic buddy right yeah. here. Hi, that's cool. <laughs> great to see you. Good We're to here. see y'all. We're so excited. You know, we are not going through driver intro without doing this. It's become a tradition. It is a tradition. And what else is a tradition is you winning, so win again. Let's, let's do that. Let's you do that too. Yes. Meet at like 4.30 on top of Oliver? Perfect. Perfect. Done. I've got one spot open to write down a name for advancing to round number two. Will it be Justin Ashley or will it be Clay Milliken? On the side, Justin Ashley's car. That, of course, the Phillips Connect machine. The folks at Cotto Fasteners, Lucas Oil, Toyota. And on the right side, Clay Milliken, the Rick Ware racing car. That car has been a bit of a roller coaster this year. They get out of the first round. They usually go many rounds. Working with the folks at Prime this weekend. Biohaven, final pair. First round of top fuel. Funny car is at the ready line. Look at this! Look at this! Oh, it quit! Are you kidding me? Nobody 
Wow, 378, 269 miles an hour for Clay. Justin goes 435. Clay Milliken gets the win. They both smashed the tree. Justin got away first. They were dead even at 60 feet. Clay was just out in front at 330. Saw a little wisp off of Justin's tires. He pedaled it. Clay Milliken's car quit, and he coasted to the victory. Wow. Let's go down to Chris. Down here with Jim Oberhofer, crew chief for Clay Milliken. Jim, big win in St. Louis. Driver really did the job right there. You guys are trying to work your way back into the top five. Yeah, we had the uh, the old Texas horseshoe up our butt that run because uh, it quit down there. Not sure what happened there. You know, when you run Justin Ashley, Mike Green, Tommy D, man, that's a tough, tough bunch over there. And um, you know, but we're here. We're we're, we're trying to go rounds, win races, and um, we got lucky. We'll take it and we'll go to the next round. Speaking of the next, so you never know what's going to come out of his mouth, but he just said 79 and 340. <laughs> that wasn't what we did. The belt come off. All I know, and y'all know, if I'm down here talking, that's a good thing. Wind light come on, right, brother? We're talking about funny car. That's what I was talking about <laughs> there. Yeah. No. yeah. Wind lights come on. That's why you're here. Wind lights on. That was a huge one. Justin Ashley, one of the baddest dudes out there, probably left me start sitting on the start line. Don't matter. Wind light come on. Timo, Jesse, everybody on this entire team. Bam! With Clay, American, uh, Clay Milliken to wrap up top field here. I like that. Yeah, you like that? I figured you'd like that. Yeah, Clay American. Yeah, proud one over here. A big round one win for you, though. Just nationally, Nether Lane. You guys are trying to work your way back up into the top five in points. No, oh, I mean, I tell you what, it's huge. I mean, obviously, uh, we made the highlight reel yesterday for something we didn't want to do and hated that for everybody involved. 100% my fault when that happened yesterday. But you know what? Love every single individual that's part of this whole Rick Ware team, Parks Plus. And I had a lot of pressure because Robert Ruse, president, Pronto Parts Plus sitting right beside me when I rolled into the water. And I'm like, oh, don't screw this up because the boss is watching. I got to ask you, you said it was your fault. What happened? Uh, yesterday, I mean, we, plain and simple, had oil pressure when we started, and I didn't look at it again after it started, and uh, it actually broke an oil pump. It's not happy when it don't have no oil pressure, and I stomped on that loud pedal, and I shouldn't have. My fault. Luckily, nobody got hurt. That was the main thing. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, guys. Caught a ride with the fastest Ford man in the world. Both of us just got the W from round one. We are trying to get us a Wally, brother. Be nice to have two Fords in the wheelchair, <laughs> right? That's a fact. That's a fact. All right. Round one win light, come on. Emily's oh, first experience. Gosh. Dude, that was sick. <laughs> Holy cow. Any describing that? Just nuts, just absolutely nuts. You feel it like in the depths of your soul. And then when your friend wins, you're like, oh my God, I was jumping around like a crazy person. That's what I was doing in the car. Oh my gosh, it's amazing, dude. Up, up. Y'all right, y'all come on with me. Look, look who else is here. Look who else is here. Oh look, the whole family's here. Hey. Right. Congratulations, man. Oh. Oh. I gotta go to work. Oh my awesome. God. My weather station's down. It's still a beautiful day. Let's just leave it like that. Mike Salinas, Clay Milliken, coming at you right here. First pair, second round. Top fuel as we continue moving forward. The NHRA Fall National is the culmination of the week-long stampede of speed. For Clay Milliken, one thing we've seen about that Parts Plus team, folks at Patriot Mobile on board this weekend, Biohaven, they get past the first round. They have a tendency to have a long day. They do not have a whole lot of second round losses this year. And they're not going to get one here either. How about 370? Wow, 3709 beats 366. 
Clay Milliken hit the gas, 055 reaction. Mike Salinas was 115. Ouch. Clay Milliken on a hole shot, wins it by a couple of hundreds, 3.709 for the W. Chris. Down here with Jim O. Jim, Clay really did his job on that one right there. Hole shot victory. You're going to the semis. You know, uh, Clay, he's something else, man. You know, sometimes he gets a little down on himself about reaction times, but, you know, he uh, – He's a champ, man, you know, and he's, he's, he's badass, and uh, my guys are badass. You know, we had a little problem there after first round, and they worked hard. We got up here, and, man, I run Mike Salinas and uh, Rob Flynn. That's a tough, tough team over there, and obviously they ran really good. We just got lucky again. Jim O and Rob Flynn spent a lot of years working together over at Collider Motorsports. A lot of respect between the two of them. Take another look on the NHRA.TV replay. Whole shot, huge. And that parlayed into a two hundredths of a second win for the Rick Ware Racing Team for Clay Milliken. There you can see the margin up on the big screen, and Parts Plus goes one more round. Mike Salinas be heading for Vegas a little bit early. <laughs> you know what this means. <laughs> I don't have to say nothing. Y'all know what this means. Another round win. Uh, we nicked it a little bit. These kids will get this thing together. I'm calling you Clay Mill. I can. Mill, I can. Yeah, we're ready. I can. We can. <laughs> we're going to. All right. Have no idea the numbers. Doesn't matter. Uh, all we know was told whole shot win. There is some cleanup going on. We nicked another one. Been a rough weekend on Rick's pocketbook. I'm just going to tell you that. But I'll bet you anything he is not studying that pocketbook when them wind lights keep coming on. We'll worry about that pocketbook before we get to the next one, which is Vegas, and we got a week off. Oh, goodness. Taylor. Whole shot win. All right. Numbers here. Oh, I can't see that. You know, I I gotta have my cheater glasses there. Yeah. We got the kid back here, first track race. So, 055 on the tree. Awesome. Old man consistent today. 833, 60 foot. 2.107, 330, 2.98, 660, with a 333 mile per hour. Awesome. Winner. Boom, winner. What did Mike run? Uh, his reaction time was 115. One, one, okay. Uh, he went 331 and had a 3.66 ET, so. Oh, wow. So we had a pretty good whole shot win there. Yep. Awesome. Boom, don't care. I've, I've lost us plenty of races. It's, I am not taking zero credit. We win together, we lose together, no matter what happens. Uh, golly, I love this team. I love all these people that, that uh, give me a uh, opportunity to do this. And I love every one of y'all watching. The kid does too, right? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Are you liking your first drag race? I am, I'm so happy and I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> it's so fun. And where can they find you at? Garage. That's right. Oh, That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Y'all know Emily. She's been on the channel. And if you haven't checked it out, Flying Sparks Garage, where you'll see the kid actually working on some cars every now and then, maybe doing some fishing. You don't never know what she's going to be doing. I am 100% rambling. The Mountain Dew level is up to here. I got to go to work. All right, we got a motor coming out. We ran good. For whatever reason, it just wants to keep hurting itself. I think it's something to do with how good the air is down here or whatever. Jimbo's tune-up's not very far off because it's run too good too many races in a row. I think we got something weird with the air. I gotta go to work. Get lessons from the best. <laughs> and I got these lessons from Amy Funk. Oh wow. A million years ago. Okay. All right, here we go. We're getting ready for semi-final round. Who are we racing, Leah? Racing Leah. Leah. And I got some YouTube fans out here. Let's hear it. Come on. Yeah. 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 This, Hope you win today. Be a giant killer. Come on. Oh, that's what we tried to do. Yes, sir. It's like I want to be on the channel. I've been playing. I played an IHRA video game when I was younger, boy. <laughs> 
He just called me old. He just didn't no, realize I it. You've been doing this a long time. All right, we're getting this thing ready. It's awesome to see all these Texas folks out here. Yes, sir. Two more, right, Taylor? That's it. Two more. Semifinals coming up. Oh, you yeah. ready? I'm ready. Oh, my God. You ready? We're going to be rooting for you. <laughs> Y'all good over here? Everybody good? Ready. I, I had ready. a question though. Yes. When are the fast cars coming out? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Just keep piddling around. <laughs> yeah. Idling down through the, there. The junior dragsters, I mean, they're cool, but. <laughs> Where's the power? Right. <laughs> <laughs> degrees 1235 feet density altitude water water grains just below 50 and 103 degrees 103 the track temperature here at the texas motorplex leah pruitt the mobile one driver for tony stewart racing in the left side and in the right side clay milliken for rick ware racing you know, I can't help but think Rick Ware Racing and Stuart Haas Racing are also battling it out out in Las Vegas this weekend. Or for the professionals. But for Parts Plus, for Biohaven, I said it earlier. Clay Milliken wins the first round. He has a tendency to go to the final round. These two raced in the final round two weeks ago out in St. Louis, and Clay got it done there. I also said for the last three consecutive races, whoever won the head-up matchup between Leah and Doug went to the final round, and Leah beat Doug in the last round. So somebody's going to have a streak come to an end. Final adjustment made on the barrel valve. Both tuners give their drivers instruction. Leah and Clay. Who's coming back to run for the cowboy hat here in Texas? Whoa, hang on, Clay. It's going to be Leah, 3.681, 329. Tony Stewart just saw him on a starting line, a little fist bump with his dad. Nice to see Nelson hanging out in the house this weekend. And a 532 for Clay Milliken. He pedaled it. It looked like it tried to stand up out there. He saved the car. He lost the race. Are you sure? This thing's all jacked up from getting hit by a golf cart. <laughs> not having a Big God, you got me. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I think the car is hurt. I think we jacked up the front front half is jacked. Neato. Do I need to come your way? Or are they gonna drag you down here? Uh, it ain't that bad, but just looking down the uh, hood of the car, the body panel don't look the same. It hurts. I don't know why I keep hurting myself this weekend. Dang it, man. Roger that. You take a couple days off now. Mr. Taylor may not let me. All right, kid. What? What? We got beat, didn't we? Yeah. Hey, did you have Get fun, next though? time. I did. Exactly. All right, Kayla. It's a good weekend. It's a good weekend. Semifinals. I have worked the snot out of John and everybody else. That one. And thank you so much. We appreciate y'all. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So awesome. So left start line, shook, pedaled, went into a wheelie, came down really hard, jacked up our race car. It uh, is going to require a front half cars definitely hurt but dang it we went to the semis so leah run good though what she go 68 yeah I think so. yep yep 329 but you beat her off the line for I, what it's worth i did yes you did yes. by quite a bit what was it you had an 064 and she had an 090 your your old driver was consistent <laughs> that's right 
<laughs> uh, I think we had another 71 in us, John. That's that's what we would have needed. I think we had another 60 in us, but I was, uh, I'm not mad. Semifinals, y'all, the problem is now we got several hurt engines and now we got a hurt, hurt race car. We got work to do. All right, y'all. So, doing a wheelie like that is very bad on your chassis. The car came down, hit the ground pretty hard. It is no longer straight. It definitely whacked the ground pretty good. Down the frame rail here, it is sagging. I don't know how bad, but we hit the ground pretty good. So thank God this guy's all right. Yeah. Well, we have to go see the car back first. So <laughs> I got a place. Will we stop here? Yeah. yeah. Two yeah. races yeah. left. Uh, I, I can't believe you guys this year. You guys are. Really it's awesome. I mean. If we would have won one race, it would have been a success. Two, you know, on the third, it was just like, man. So, you know, we're going to carry a lot of this into the next, next season. And, you know, if we could have had those first five or six races, we kind of gave up early this year, you know, getting things figured out. And we, we've been in a different spot, but we're still in a good spot. We're still not over. And, man, I'm, I'm jacked up, man. We're really, I mean, this, it, it, I'm glad I got. Glad I got to see this too, just because uh, I know how tough it is to do stuff in a short time frame. And uh, then you go from somebody on the trailer. That was an awesome show. Dude, we're just proud you were here and we went rounds. I know. <laughs> <laughs> First round, Rick. You know? <laughs> so it ain't you. It's not, it's me. not you. I don't even have to draw straws on people to take Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But awesome job, guys. We'll race talk, regroup, and go out and win base tomorrow. So, I love it. Go back to the shop there down on it. I love all y'all. Love you, Clay. I do. Love you, Clay. I'm sorry, guys. Not your fault. Tore up, lead. Tore up engine parts. Screwed our car up. Our tow vehicle even got run into it. This is like stock car racing now. We're looking at everything we got. <laughs> Go out and hit the like race car. I don't like this. No. Oh, this man. is the way it is. No. Well, you guys are awesome. And you know, some, uh, some weekends you have like this. But at the end of the day, we came here to race and move up. That's exactly what we did. Yeah, we were, we were one round away from leaving here in sixth. So, you know. Well, they, we know we're, they know we're here. J yeah. Justin Ashley told me before the race, he was, you know, he was worried. And y'all come in. I was going to come nice photo, photo bomb. Y'all come in. Y'all come in. Y'all y'all are part of this team. Y'all come in. All right, everybody. This is Mr. Robert Roos, president of the Pronto Network. His much, much better half here. And we had a good day we had an exciting one but we want to thank you while all of us are in a group thank you uh, hey thank you guys what a phenomenal weekend it doesn't get any better than this other than a win but i mean uh, great job it was, we entertained a lot of folks good job everybody can we joke it up we gotta hit the parts plus warehouse yeah we were a little rough on the car this weekend yeah we were rough enough that that car won't race next week. <laughs> Seriously. Nice. Yeah, gotta go back to the chassis. Yeah, it, uh, well, it's bent. Lift, when you lift them off the ground like that, you know, that kind of stuff. Hey, I thought good. I was at DFW Airport. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before the family gets out of here, yes, I know I do it backwards, right? <laughs> Sheep, that's all I heard about the whole time yeah. we were working on the car. So, anyway, my golf buddy, Blake, Better half, Christian. These folks got the nitro experience. 
today. That's amazing. And I'm going to move this way because the sun's absolutely oh, was, washing me out. I'm going to make y'all sweat. incredible day of racing. You did so awesome, dude. Awesome yeah. yeah. I tried to fly for y'all, yeah. literally. Uh, she got a really cool video <laughs> in, the, in the tow vehicle. vehicle. Yeah. She brought me good luck for a few rounds. Yes, she did. You're a nitro girl now. It was amazing. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. I'm not kidding. Glad y'all got some nitro. It was bad to the bone. Thank you. Clay, thank you so much. Y'all didn't know an old guy worked as much as I do either, did you? Yeah, it's pretty cool to see like the racers' hands all crazy. I'm like, that's bad to the bone. Yeah, when we were working on the uh, CRC GTO, I, yeah. I wasn't going that fast. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we're taking our time. That was awesome, dude. Good to see y'all. Glad y'all come out. Thank you yeah, so much. You. Appreciate you. Woo, I got Andrew. Job security this week. Right. <laughs> we, got, uh, we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> How many short blocks you got to do this week? Uh, we went through what four this weekend. Dang so, it! Uh, That's uh, a lot for us. This team normally don't hurt stuff. No. Oh, I think we got more this weekend than we have the rest of the year combined. So. I believe. Yes. Yeah. I believe. Yep. Yeah. Demo yeah. don't hurt parts, and uh, we we. I mean, yes, everybody watching this, they'll be like, I've seen some major blow-ups, but those were just like blow-ups. This was different, whatever. We run it hard and got some, some bearings here and there. Yeah, how's about it? Yeah. You stop and regroup, go to Vegas. Go to Vegas. So, soldier number one there, soldier number two there. I think they got, oh, soldier number three there. Here we go. What a wild race day. We're in here with Jimmo. Race day wrap up, starting with round one. <laughs> oh, I thought man. we got all kinds of exciting stuff, but let's start at round one. Well, um, you know, we were last pair and, you know, running Justin Ashley and, and uh, Mike Green and Tommy D. Like, you know, guys are good. You know, and and um, so we knew we had to, like, get our A game out there and you know we struggled this weekend you know in a couple different areas so kind of went up there like with the opinion like if everything works right we'll, we'll run good and, and we'll give them a race and um, went up there and you know corner of my eye I see I see Justin spinning the tires I'm like yes and our car is going down and tracking it quits and I'm like man did it break a blower bell like what you know and I usually don't stick around very long, like to like sit there and look at the replay or look. I'm just right. like hightailing it back, you know. And um, um, got back and the belt was on, and it basically a pan pressure switch shut the car off. And and uh, which means what? Which means we scuffed the piston, and we scuffed the number seven piston. And I'm not real sure why. Like um, this year, like. We don't hardly scuff pistons at all. I think the last time we did it was at Denver on Friday night, but it's Denver, it's a little different yeah, than exactly. every place else. I didn't expect, I was I was kind of caught off guard. I'm like, whoa. Um, so and the, and the pan pressure switch shuts the car off wide. I, I guess that's really what, I wanted everybody to know what pan pressure yeah, switch so is. Yeah, so we monitor um, uh, pan pressure in the car and, and there's an NHRA rule um, that states that if you, I believe it's eight pounds of, of pan right. pressure, yeah. um, that once the car sees eight pounds of pan pressure, the car shuts off because if you let it go any further, um, you know, there's a chance that you can have more damage and, and NHRA put that rule in place to try to curtail some oil down. So, yeah. you know, there's times where, uh, like last year at St. Louis, the pan pressure switch went off and and uh, we, we lost in uh, St. Louis second round to Steve Torrance. And um, it was like, damn it, you know, we had that round one, um, but the pan pressure switch got us. But, you know, it's a rule and you have to abide by that rule. But we got lucky. I think we went 378 at like 260 something. Yeah, it was ripping. It was running good. Like it had good enough early numbers probably to, you know, run a 67 or something yeah. like that. And, um, so, you know, it was exciting to go on to the next round and we got to run Mike Salinas. Again. Again. <laughs> and, um, and um, you know, we um, 
we went up there, we put it, changed a short block because, you know, when you burn a piston up or scuff a piston like we did, it's too much stuff to clean up, um, you know, internally in the motor. It's like, nah, the motor needs to come apart and we need to look at it right. So we put another short block in and, uh, um, you know, made some adjustments and, and you know, the, this racetrack's been so great all weekend. And, um, you know, we went up there with the intention of like, you know, we need to run, um, you know, probably 67 or 68, like we can't back off because Salinas, you know, that car runs so good. So as I did, as I, as I do sometimes, I'm like, I got my driver that's going to help me out too. And, um, and, uh, and he did, thank God, we run a 370 and Mike Salinas is 366, and um, it was that, that was a pretty exciting round win for us because it it um, you know for us you know our goal at the beginning of the year was to to be a top five car and we're inching close you know closer to that and we uh, you know moved into seventh place at, at that point and um, you know so we ran 370 333. And uh, came back. Unfortunately, when when you lifted off the throttle, it knocked a couple rods out of it. And um, it's really weird. The um, we we uh, we've had some weird stuff happen this year. It's caused some engine damage. But this is like, all right, we got we got a tune-up related problem now. And um, you know, trying to figure out like, you know, I've been put we put more fuel in it. We you know, just the timing curve, we take the compression out of it, it's still kind of doing the same thing. So for the semifinals, we have to run Leah, and um, you know, you want to run the thing hard, you want to go out there, because you know, that's such a tough team. But I'm also at the same time, like, I gotta try something to get, you know, curtail the engine damage. And um, we went up there, semis I took um, um, more compression out of it more timing and uh, the problem was is you know when, when Clay stepped on the throttle once again he had a couple huns on, on the reaction time um, but uh, we um, motor was down on power so wheel speed wasn't there it went in the tire shape you know gave her the old, like, try to, you know, pedal it and see if it hook up and see if, you know, something happened to her. Um, unfortunately, nothing happened to her, but unfortunately for us, our front end came up. And it hooked too good. It hooked a little too good, and, and uh, you know, we were uh, we were trying to send you up into, up at altitude there. And, uh, that moon tune I talked about the other night. The moon tune. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, you know, when stuff like that happens, it's it's tough and it happens so fast. And fortunately, we tweaked our car up, and um, you know, so uh, you know, the team we're gonna head back to the shop in Mooresville. We originally were just gonna work on our stuff tomorrow and then head to head to Vegas, but we need to go back and regroup. You know, we're gonna put our uh, spare car together, which is last year's car. It has a brand new front half and back half on it. And it's pretty pretty much identical to what we were running this year. And um, put it back together, try to make everything right. We'll take our our damaged engine parts to uh, our buddies at PME Engines and old Dennis, uh, Dennis Borum and Jim Taylor and, and that bunch back there. They'll you know get our, our wounded parts back in shape for us. And, um, you know, we'll uh, be a lot of work for the team. You know, I'm gonna head back there myself and and pitch in any way I can. Sometimes it's like running parts or things like that. But uh, go back there and you know get ourselves ready for Vegas. Um, you know, we uh, we had a good points day today. Uh, we um, uh, made up some ground to you know really keep ourselves in the top 10, uh, which that's always a goal, um, you know, but if we could have done a little bit better in the semifinals, you know, not shook the tires and everything, um, we 
could have left here in a, in a still with a fighting chance of trying to get that number one spot. Um, never say never because you got points and a half at Pomona and anything can happen. But you know, really proud of this team. We had some adversity this weekend. Um, you know, uh, weird things happen. You know. The boss man was here, Rick Ware, and he was excited. It was nice that we were able to go a couple rounds with him being here, him and Lisa being here. Um, but, you know, I got a lot of work ahead of us. But I, the one thing I love about this group is they just don't ever give up and nothing phases them. And they're just happy. And, you know, they, we went from like, okay, we're going to go to Vegas and everybody's going to maybe have like four or five days off before we have the Vegas race. Well, now we're going back to to Mooresville and you know we got 10 days worth of work to do in four or five days yeah yeah and um you know but it's it, it's awesome you know it's it's you know as a as a crew chief like for me it's I I, I don't like tearing up parts and um you know the worst thing is like for me like um is 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 the safety of my driver and and um you know, so stuff happens, and and uh, we talk about Clay and I as old as we are. You know, I'm just standing there on the starting line, but he's in that car, and I, you know, I worry about worry about him all the time. Worry about you, bro, and and um, you know, it's like it, it's just it's it's tough. You know, it's it's you know to re like refocus yourself. You know, and and. Um, always worry, you know, make sure you're okay. And, um, you know, we rang your bell yesterday with the <laughs> issue we had in the first qualifying run yesterday, and then, then we got to we do a wheelie, and, and uh, it's like, man, we were rough on everything this weekend, and, and I don't like being rough on our drivers <laughs> at all, but it's a weird, it was weird. We had a Friday the 13th, and then we had a, a uh, an eclipse, and we just had some weird stuff going on this weekend. Like, I don't know, but it, you know, it, I guess I, you know, I've I, I've told people many times, and um, my brother and I talk about it a lot, and, and my my Italian brother Nicky Bonifai and I we talk about it a lot, and um, you know, I look at like you know, sometimes people say, oh man, you had a bad day, or you had a bad weekend of racing. I'm like, no. Um, you know, the, the bad day of racing I had was, in, you know, when we lost Scott Coletta. That was a bad day. Um, you know, losing, um, you know, uh, uh, Blaine Johnson. That was a bad day. You know, things like that. And um, you, you know, Eric Medlin. You know, uh, Daryl Russell. Those are those are bad days. And um, you know, yeah, we've got some. Uh, hurt parts. Uh, we got a, a bent up front half. We got a, a driver with a sore back in the, you know, rungs bell a little yesterday. But we're all we're all coming out of here healthy and and um, somewhat laughing about it. Yep. You know, and uh, it's um, it's always you know. There's a, there's always worse things that can happen as you and I know, bro. We've 100%. Had, you know, you know, losing family and and um, that, those are tough days. Yeah. And um, you know, I think um, you know we get to come out here and do things that we love to do and race. I'd sure rather be doing this than, than any kind of eight to five job. Um, you know, but it's you know, lick our wounds and move on and you know every time I see you you're smiling and stuff that's a, the best thing for for uh, for me and um, you know I think we'll we'll move on forward to Vegas and we'll we'll just get back on this on this horse and we'll exactly we'll go have some more fun go have some more fun that's, that's right that's right so one last thing do you think this may have been the greatest Top to bottom pro weekend throwdown that there's ever been. Performance wise, I mean. I think so. I mean, in in, um, in, in my lifetime of racing, um, 
this was unreal. And, 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 you know, whether you look at the top fuel class, the funny car class. Um, I mean, I was looking at some of the pro stock stuff. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And then the pro stock motorcycle stuff uh, was unbelievable. And um, you know, I don't normally look at like um, a lot of the other classes that, simply because I just I, I don't think about it at the time. And and um, but I was looking at almost every class this weekend. You know, going through NHRA.com and and seeing like what the pro stock cars did and, and then um, you know what what the bikes did and then like the, the alcohol dragsters and the alcohol funny cars uh, I mean it was unbelievable it's been crazy I mean yeah record after record the, the top fuel record wasn't set but I mean the pro stock car pro stock bike I mean it and the field numbers from top to bottom were unbelievable oh it was I mean, when, when, like, Buddy Hall was on the bump, he runs a career best 378. He's on the bump, top fuel at 16. 15th, Josh Hart ran a 373. And he's 15th. And we go 68 and, a and we're 11th. 11th. Yeah. Tony Schumacher was 12th of a 369. And, and I was just like, I was blown away. And then, like, you know, looking at the funny car stuff and like Bob Taskin and John Forrest and Robert Hyatt Hague and then like, you know, and my brother, they go 385 and they're six, I think it was. Yeah. You know, and I mean, it was just, it, it was out of control. And it's, it's fun to race like this at a, you know, um, especially when your stuff's like, look good right. and parts look good and all that it's a little rough when your stuff doesn't look so good but you know us crew chiefs when we get the they turn the flashing reds off and we can go look at the racetrack I was like why bother the only right. thing I cared about was like what, what was the track temp yep. and so I go look at the at the track temp and I turn out walk back and I was telling couple people like my buddy uh, John Stewart who's helping on Billy Torrance's car this weekend and a few other people I go there's no sense of going looking right this racetrack's awesome and um, it's you know, there, you know there's there is definitely no issues with the racetrack and then you know the air like I I don't ever remember seeing air this good at, at, at the Texas Motorplex yeah. I mean normally you know it's it's I mean, living down here as much as I do in, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I mean, it was a brutal summer down here and hot. Just a month ago, it was still over 100 plus degrees. And um, I would have never thought we would have had conditions like this it's coming been, in this race. It's been unbelievable, that's for sure. Yeah, they, I mean, it, I mean, they did a great job. Like, their stampede of speed, that deal's working and, and, um, you know, there's a lot of people here yesterday, a lot of people here today, and um, there's, there's a lot of excitement around this event. And I'm happy for uh, Billy Meyer and his daughter, you know, uh, Christine, and I'm happy for everybody at the Motorplex yeah. staff that um, that they're having some success with this because, um, you know, this is an important uh, race to me. Yeah. And, um, you know, being uh, close to home for me here in Texas, and and um, you know, I remember coming to this place when it first opened in 1986, and I never forget coming heading eastbound on 287. Me and my my brother and my dad, and all of a sudden the Texas Motorplex appears, and you're like, whoa, that's yeah, a drag strip! Exactly. Like, no the, way, that is not a drag strip. The original Bellagio of drag racing. Oh yeah, yeah and um, oh man, I remember staying. On Sunday, we stayed all all day and waited and, and saw Big Daddy Don Gardens beat Daryl Gwynn. And I'm, I'll never forget Daryl Gwynn. Like, he was so dominant. Like, I think he went out and he went 526 and 528. And it was like he went a tenth faster than anybody had ever gone. And you're like, wow, this place is like, like something special. And, uh, you know, of course, as a kid, you know, growing up, you know, Big Daddy, man, I was like, 
he was oh, yeah. he was a shit. He was like my hero and stuff. And uh, um, you know, so to see him win, that was like really really cool. And um, and then being able to you know work on race cars here uh, over over time and and um, and come here and race myself and tune cars. You know, what being a crew member in cars. What remember '95 we won our. Um, second championship with Scott Coletta here and I'll never forget um, uh, my wife and daughter were here and it was Ashley O's uh, very first race that she had come to and I think she was like maybe five months old Wow! and um, it was her very first race and we won the race in the championship in the same weekend and I'm like well we spoiled her for yep, life I can't get no better <laughs> than that but um, yeah it's, it's a pretty special place and the amazing part that just blows me away about this place is the racing surface is the same racing surface we were today that we raced on in 1986. The same racing surface that, that Big Daddy and Daryl Gwynn lined up on, and it's it's a phenomenal racetrack. It's and Eddie Hill's first four second run. Oh yeah, the thrill, man! I remember that. Yeah. I was here with that, and yeah, uh, yeah it's just a it's, a it's 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 really just like a magical place and. And um, you know, and it, it's funny. You know, I, every now and then I get I didn't get to see Billy this weekend, but he's a trip, and he's just a uh, you know uh, a good old boy from Texas. And um, you know, he um, uh, he was a hell of a funny car driver back in his day and stuff. And and uh, um, it's it's just neat, like, and, and it's neat to see his daughter so show so much excitement yeah. about. The racetrack and and the things that they're doing really involved and and um, you know the extra things they do for the teams you know and, and uh, um, you know the state of Texas like supporting this event and you know it's it's just neat that you know um, they take care of the teams a little bit yeah. you know financially you know whether it's travel money or up in the purse and putting on special bonuses for running low ET Friday night yeah. that's just neat and um, it really is. pretty special and it's it's um, a lot of credit to the Meyer family a lot of credit to them for doing that because uh, you know that, that just shows you that that Billy was a he was a racer first oh yeah and um, so we're pretty fortunate that he built this track when he did because it made everybody else step up yep no doubt well, guys, crazy weekend, no doubt about it. Uh, Timo kind of has covered all of it. The one thing we didn't talk about, I don't even think I talked about it at all. The other thing to add to Friday the 13th, solar eclipse, our tow vehicle got ran into by a golf cart. Hard. <laughs> so the, the uh, craziness <coughs> of the weekend is uh, what it is, but man, Jimbo pointed it all out, but these kids have a ton of work to do this week. Uh, I guess we're going to join the uh, Rick Ware NASCAR team making a car change and doing all of that. But you guys are awesome. We appreciate you watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing. And uh, I'm, I'm stalling here for just a moment. Yes. Wrap up the video for me. Me and Jimbo only got, we're at 22 minutes and 10 seconds. So. Oh man, this is going to be an awesome video. So thank yes. you for liking, watching, subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one. I can't do it no better than that. Boom. See ya.